The group manager, Etem Daniel, says they have been helped to add value onto their farm produce, which has ensured their produce fetches more prices on the market. He says they were trained in financial literacy by Sasakawa and they formed their own cooperative society that is running well. They, however, asked government to assist them by a vehicle to transport them to market, noting that their tricycle donated to them by Sasakawa is no longer enough. According to Christine Chomjisha, the program officer in the Department of the Regenerative Agriculture at Sasakawa Africa Association, they help farmers include their incomes, combat food insecurity through promoting market-oriented sustainable regenerative and nutrition-sensitive agriculture innovations. She said they are happy that Bala Women and Youth Farmers Cooperative Society has implemented what was taught to them and this has helped them get better yields but also increase on their incomes. She added that practicing sustainable, regenerative and nutrition-sensitive agriculture has many benefits to its farmers, like ensuring the soil nutrient is protected but also keeping moisture in the soil through irrigation. This in turn assures better yields for farmers. Sasakawa Association and its country programs, which used to be called Sasakawa Global 2000, work in close collaboration with National Agriculture Extensive Services in Ethiopia, Mali, Nigeria and Uganda to support smallholder farmers along the agricultural value chain. Sasakawa aims to increase farmers' income and food and nutrition security through promoting market-oriented, sustainable, resilient and regenerative and nutrition-sensitive agriculture innovations and building the capacity of extension agents and farmers. Sasakawa has set up country offices staffed by local residents with a high level of agriculture expertise and deep understanding of the local context in order to promote need-best good agricultural practices and improve technologies in rural communities. Sasakawa is committed to working with smallholder farmers by adopting a participatory approach that provides need-best feedback to farmers and value chain actors to establish technologies and fruitful market linkages that address the specific concerns of farmers. This participatory approach embodies Sasakawa's spirit of working with the farmer.